show you how it works. I'm joined by uh, Holger Bobrovsky, who's, the, who's actually an Exalta product specialist, and is playing the part today of the, uh, of the body shop technician. Um, Dan Benson is here, Exalta's global color marketing manager, and Luke van der Belder, who is um, Exalta's global equipment and packaging manager. So Holger, would you like to start the process? First stage is scan, first stage in the three-step digital uh, color management process. Uh, Dan, come forward to the front so we can see and you can talk about what's going on. Can you just, just run through what's happening? So Holger is cleaning the area that he's going to read uh, to get the best possible color reading. Very important that it's properly clean. And he's going to take three different readings around the repair area, and that helps the painter make sure that he's captured all the nuances of color that are around the repair so that he can provide a very good match, easy blend. And what, what's the actual reason for doing three? Because it's going to capture information even on one, isn't it? Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, parts of the vehicle will show different elements of color depending on whether it's vertical or horizontal surface. The substrate's different. I'm sure many of you have often seen where the bumper, a plastic bumper is painted off-site, it comes in, it's just a little bit different from the vehicle. So this helps make sure that the color match is really, really very close. And I tell you, that was fast. Just before we have a look at it, um, if, if, uh, if Holger didn't have that, I mean, we're back to a, you know, the old system, slightly hit, hit and miss, aren't we? Sure. In, in this case, painters have to look, read the information on a formula, try to guess which is the best variant for whatever vehicle is in front of them, or they have to use an old fan deck, which is very difficult for most people to use. This is fully automated. You don't have to do anything. Okay, Dan, thank you. So, uh, Holger, uh, there was the display on the front of the RS scan, which you clearly you, you, you showed us. So now over to... Well, first of all, it's over to Nimbus, actually, isn't it? I was going to say. Um, Holger's got across, right, got across to, the, uh, to the RS Mix machine. But what happens to that information from RS scan? It goes straight into Nimbus, which is the new platform announced today. Dan, tell us about this. So what uh, came from the RS scan is now here in Nimbus. The software in Nimbus is taking that information, and it's finding the closest formula database, and then making a shading adjustment to it. So what it's done here, and I'll blow this up for you, here's the vehicle behind us, and here's the closest formula. So you can see it's an excellent match, and I'm happy to show this if you want to come up afterwards. And all you do from this point is you send it to the mix queue. And that is it. Okay, Dan, thank you. Luke, do you want to pick up on what happens now? Holger's over at RS Mix. What's he doing? Well, the first thing you notice is that nobody's touching. There's no, uh, there's no physical uh, connection. So then I send the uh, selected formula, the best match, to the computer of virus mix, and Holger has already put the cup on the scale, is now selecting the formula. We know by now that at six components we're going to make 100 milliliters, and uh, Holger is going to press start. And as from now, there's nothing, nobody touching the machine anymore. And he's going to do the whole thing all, it's, it's happening now, you can see it in fact. There's not a need to take a small amount first of all to check it's okay. No, as you heard Dan saying, we trust the formulation, we have a very big da database of colors. We don't want to spray a panel anymore, we just send the color to the mix. It's very accurate dosing, and you just spray. Right, so what's happening now? There, there are uh, the colors being selected automatically. Can you talk us through what we can see? Sure, so there's six components, he's asked 100 milliliters. We know how much to take of each tint. The first tint is being dosed while the robot is taking the second tint ready to be dosed afterwards. So we don't lose time uh, at all. And how long is this going to take? Just a matter of minutes, uh, if that? This is probably going to take between five and six okay. minutes for a 100 milliliter six component uh, formulation. And how would you sum up what the benefits of this are? It's an automated system, which means what for people? Well, we call it fully automated, meaning that there is no human intervention. Uh, the only thing you saw Holger doing is put a cup in there, um, and then he started the machine. Nobody is doing that anymore. Nobody is touching it anymore. We want the painter to paint. That's a profession that is very hard to find. So we want to be as productive as possible, create more sales opportunity, more throughput. This uh, machine will indicate when it's ready, and um, yeah, no human intervention on top. 
A student can do this. Anybody that can operate the computer and push a button can do this. You don't need a painter for it. And I imagine this, this gives the body shop, the collision center, whatever, the opportunity to really look at how their personnel are used, whether they are using people the right way, because this has taken some of what would have been skilled away because it's doing it faultlessly. Absolutely, yes. And it's, it's becoming a profession that is more hard to find. So we want people to rethink processes and um, add value where possible. And the painter adds value in the spray booth. Okay, now on the screen there we can see that one of the colors has been completed. It's working through the others. Two have been completed. Okay, this is good. We're getting through. Uh, six to go altogether, is it? Six altogether. Four more coming back. What about uh, the containers? Do you need specialist containers for that machine? Well, that's the other beauty of the system that we use containers that we that are standard packaging. So we, we fill those, we will make those available for all customers. Uh, and you can use it straight away in Iris Mix. So that's the beauty, the only one is Kenya. Wow. Uh, Iris, um, Exalta refinish systems, will they all work with Exalta Iris Mix? This uh, system is designed for, for our productive and most efficient customers, uh, which are using either Standard Blue, Speedsecker High Tech, or Chromax Pro. Okay, and just to be clear, at the end of this, and, and this is genuine, from the scan that happened, it gave it to Nimbus, it's given it to Iris Mix, we are going to get out of that um, a container with the mix, the exact mix that is right for this car, and we will be able to show people that that has happened. Yes, sure we can, and the, the dosing accuracy we have is 0.05 grams, uh, so the advantage is that you can weigh very small volumes, uh, not the 250 milliliter that you need to do by hand. So you will have a lot of consumption advantages as well. Plus, it's going to be accurate. It never fails. So you don't have to redo or overmix.